Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now today we're going to do something we've done already. We're going to paint a space marine. But you might notice <laughs> he's missing something important here. Without his bolter and his arms, he's, you know, not going to be much use in the fight against uh, the darkness encroaching on the Imperium. In fact, you might say he's mostly armless. And <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've waited to make that stupid joke. So what we're going to talk about today is something called sub-assemblies. Now, ordinarily, this is something you'll bump into when you're making a larger model. So if you're building something like a Dreadnought, for example, you'll quite often start by building one of the arms, then the other, then the boxy body, then its legs, and then you glue all of those together to make the finished product. Now, while they're still in pieces, they are what's referred to as sub-assemblies, smaller pieces of the whole. And this is a technique which can also be really useful even on smaller miniatures. Now, I normally don't paint my marines this way because I'm not too fussy about getting to that eagle on the chest, but this is actually a really cunning way to do a few things. First of all, most obviously, we can get to all of the detail around the body without anything in the way, so it's a great way to make sure that you're going to paint that chest eagle and also all of these details around his waist as well, so that's, that's kind of cool. The other thing too is that it also lets us, now I've just super glued these on the inside to a bit of old sprue so I can spray them, but sub-assemblies can be sprayed with different base coats. So say I was painting black Templars, I might turn around and spray the body in black, but then spray the shoulder pads in white so I don't have to spend forever layering white over black. Just something to consider. Now where I've started off is with a little bit of planning ahead, and I've gone and, and I've stuck a little bit of blue tack, is what I would call it. Um, adhesive putty, you know, just sticky gunk that sticks paper to walls and what have you. You can use this to quickly jab a little area that's going to stay clean. This is important because with our plastic miniatures, the plastic glue needs to be able to touch two plastic surfaces, otherwise it won't fuse them together. You can get around this if you're going to use super glue, but you know, I would rather use plastic glue. Stick to what I know and make sure that that bond is going to be permanent. Now, speaking of a permanent bond, over here is the arms. And you might notice I have super glued <laughs> this little bit of old sprue, just so that I've got something to hold on to while I'm painting this thing. I've also made sure that I've covered over the outside of the arms where I'm going to spray, because again, this is where the shoulder pads are going to glue to the top of. So, what I'm going to do first of all is we'll go ahead and we'll spray all of these components. Now that's our base coat done. If you've got anywhere that you need to go over with a little bit of paint from the pot, you can do that now. Okay, it is exactly the same as if we were painting them ordinarily. Which means we now go on to the next step of that. So I'm going to start off with a dry brush and on the ultramarine I'm going to use Ethereum Blue. Now I have covered these techniques in a couple of other videos already, so I'm going to gloss over most of this. You can follow along with any of the other tutorials for my uh, Space Marines, but let's first of all get started on that dry brush. Probably want a little less on the paint. There we go. So dry brushing them first of all. Now we'll go over all of that armor with our wash. Then you might want to use the dry brush as a guide for any sort of final highlights you want to add, just to really make those edges all the sharper. And then with the armor done, we can get in and start doing all of the little details that will really finish it off. And you can see here, straight away, <laughs> the main benefit to painting in sub-assemblies for a marine. Obviously, each miniature that you might want to do it with will be a little bit different. And, you know, it is just painting a model past a point. But however it is, just a little bit of forethought and a wee bit of planning ahead can make this a whole lot easier to do. So I'm going to finish off these details now, and then we'll see how I look when it comes to stick it all together. And then, as if by magic, our marine is done. Now, as you can see, this is painted in the same way that I would do any other marine, uh, particularly the salamander one in the most recent video before this. You know, use the dry brush as a guide for where you want those highlights to go. But that's not really the point of this video, is it? We're looking at how we're going to use these sub-assemblies to help us paint. So you can see how much easier it is to reach all these areas of detail. This is generally more useful on larger miniatures. So if you've got something like Belisarius Call or a Dreadnought or something that you want to be able to reach all of the details, 
consider building it and putting it together in this way. What we'll do now though is carefully peel off these little bits of uh, blue tech that we've used as masking. Now you want to be fairly careful with these at first because if anything is still wet, you know, you don't want it sticking to your model and pulling away the paint that you've carefully spent these last couple of minutes putting on. So you can see here, there's bare plastic and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to go around now and peel off all of these bits from all the parts I'm using. Now, once we've cleared away all of the blue tech, it's time to put a little bit of glue on. I find the easiest place to put this on is parts of the model that I'm not going to be pushing. So I'm going to put just a little bit towards the front of these round areas, because as I push the arms on, it's going to smear that glue backwards. So let's carefully line them up and slide into place with my fingers in the way, of course. And for real this time, our marine is finally complete. Now this might be a little bit old hat to some of you guys who've been doing this for a while, but maybe if you've never given it a shot before, that's, you know, a bit of a bit of encouragement. Something to just try out. It's not difficult at all to do, and these sub-assemblies can be a way, like I said, to really get to some of that deep detail. Now personally, I tend not to do this very often unless I'm painting a character, because, you know, my philosophy is if I can't see it, I'm not going to paint it. And you'll find that these guys standing on the battlefield, you know, you're, you're not really going to see that chest eagle except at certain angles, and so on and so forth. So it is a bit of a personal choice in that respect. Whatever the case, maybe give it a try on something. You might find yourself surprised. So now I'm just going to snap a couple of photos. As ever, guys, any questions or anything, feel free to drop them down there in the box below, or my Twitter and Facebook are both linked there too. So thank you very much for your time, and you guys enjoy the rest of your day.